Okay, in this next video, we're going to show you guys um, just a couple of the more common errors that can occur, um, sort of some troubleshooting things, so that when you are scanning tests and stuff like that, if you do run into any of these issues, um, you can just quickly resolve them. Um, so the first thing that we're going to look at, um, I'm just going to go into the live screen here by clicking Scan Test. Um, and this is probably a pretty obvious thing, but the thing you want to make sure always when you're scanning these tests is make sure that they're nice and flat. Um, and one thing that can happen is if you have a ton of tests stacked on top of each other, um, make sure that the lines aren't kind of peeking all around. Um, if it can see a whole test behind the one that you're trying to scan, sometimes it'll throw it off. Um, but usually it's not a problem, but if you are getting um, errors sometimes you might want to just make sure that your tests are all on a flat surface. Okay, um, so the first error we're going to actually show you um, would be a misbubbled test ID. So we want this to be test uh, 140A, but this student didn't bubble their ID correctly. So I'm going to scan it. You'll see it'll grab the test. And you can see it's unable to locate that key because we wanted to scan test 140 and the student bubbled in test 149. So in order to correct that, um, basically you just need to take the test and erase, um, erase the test ID that they bubbled in and bubble the correct one so that it knows what key to compare it to. Otherwise it doesn't have a key for, for that test. Okay, the next error we're going to show you guys real quick happens sometimes in rooms that have really bright fluorescent overhead lights, um, and that's a glare issue. Um, and what happens is the lights will actually reflect off of the pencil lead, um, which in, in some ways actually makes it better to use pen sometimes if you're not going to erase anything. Um, so let's go into the scan test. I'm going to bring up the live screen and see what this looks like. Um, you can see we've got a student test here. Um, and if you look, right, it's very obvious that there's some answers on the bottom there that are getting glared out. Um, and if I actually move a shadow over it, you can see how much darker they get um, when you're able to eliminate that overhead light. Um, you can see they really just get whited out on the bottom of the page. So if you see that or if you're getting a lot of ignored answers, you're probably going to want to move to a spot in the room where you don't have a ton of direct overhead light um, or just move to a completely different location to scan. Um, I'm going to scan this one real quick and show you what this actually will look like. So when you scan it, um, you can see we've got a couple ignored responses. So now even though a bunch of them were uh, whited out, only two of them were marked ignored, but that still is um, not what you want. If you look at those, you can see right um, that on 11 and 12, um, even though it's sort of possible to tell what the right answer was there, um, the app doesn't want to just mark one answer right unless it's pretty sure. So if it's very whited out like that, um, it's going to give you ignored responses. So that's one thing you want to look at when you're scanning tests. If you get ignored responses, if that red um, tab flashes up like that, then you want to look for things like did the student bubble all the questions in? Did they miss bubble anything? Um, if it thinks that it picked, they picked multiple answers or something like that, um, or um, did it get glared where they actually picked an answer and it, and it didn't register? So if that happens, you want to probably just move it to a different location and just rescan it. Okay, so and when you get those glared answers, um, another thing that you can do to correct for this is actually to just shade your papers with uh, um, another piece of paper if you need to. Um, if you don't want to use that test, we'll just go ahead and hit the X and just delete it so that we can rescan. So I'm going to hit the scan button here. Um, and you see if I'm actually holding a page over, um, you're able to eliminate some of those glare issues. And we can see that we don't have any ignored responses here. So that was a good um, test score. So then if we like it, we'll just go ahead and hit the check mark. Um, and that's basically it. Those are a couple of the more common errors that you might see. Um, make sure that your papers are not bent, um, especially if you have a bunch of them stacked on top of each other or if they're sort of rolled on the corners. Um, make sure that your students are correctly bubbling their IDs and the test ID. Um, and then check for glare um, or ignored responses, which can happen sometimes depending on the lighting, lighting conditions in the room.
Um, but that's it. Most of the time, um, you shouldn't have any problems. But if you do, um, check for these things, and I think that will resolve almost all of them. So if you guys do encounter any errors um, or any other kind of things, problems that you're having, uh, please email us and let us know so that we can sort of um, try to re recreate those things for ourselves and figure out ways to fix them. Um, your feedback is pretty important to us. So um, I think that's it. Thanks a lot. Bye.